Hi, welcome to our lesson on combining like terms. And this is day one of our five day lessons. So let's dig into what we're talking about when we say combine like terms. So first of all, we're gonna be working with different kinds of terms. We have variables and those are represented by letters like X or Y, or it could be any, really any letter, Z, A, R, and they are unknown values. Then we have our coefficients. So if we say three X, then that means we have three X's. That would be the same as X, X, and X. That is three X, it's an easier way of saying that. And that could be negative two Y, or that could be six Z, this number is the coefficient and it tells you how many of each variable you have of each un unknown value and then we have our constant or integers which we're mostly going to be using integers in this case so in the lessons we're only going to be using integers but integers are positive and negative whole numbers so when you have a 3x that is one kind of term because it has a variable. And if it said plus four, that would be our constant or our integer. And those, um, these can be added together, these can be added together, but these two cannot be simplified together. They can't be combined, if you will, because they're different types of terms. So let's look at some examples. We have three X's plus five X's plus four plus eight. That's a regular old four and that's a regular eight. So we can only combine these together because they have the same variable. So if you have three X's and you have five X's, you add them together, you have eight X's. And if you have a regular four and a regular eight, you add them together, you have 12. You can't simplify any further because these are not the same terms as each other. This one has a variable, x, and this one is a constant. Okay, let's check out a couple more examples. So this three does not have a variable. This x is one x, and this is four x's, and this is minus one. So we can put the three and the minus one together, three minus one, and three minus one is two. And we can put these two together, because they both have the variable x. So x plus four is one x plus four x is five x. I like to put the variable at the beginning, but it doesn't really matter because they can go in either order because this neither of them are subtraction and there's not any multiplication going on between them. So we can just leave them in that order or it's also equal to five x plus two. Okay, and then we're gonna to go to our last example. So these are our constants or our integers. And then outside here, we have our variable x. Six x's minus two x's would be four x. And three plus seven is 10 plus 10. So that's it. Um, I hope that that works for you. Good luck on your lesson and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.